It's day three of the competition in Shropshire, and Nassai's turn to try and bag the thousand pounds. So far, I've noticed that Nassai has, you know, she's had a little dig at everyone's food, you know, has had an opinion about it. She's fine the one minute, she's then abrasive the next. Nassai is probably getting a little bit tired of me because she thinks I'm out to sabotage her or something, uh, which I'm not. Tonight's my night. She won't be controlling me or this situation in my house. You never know, they might end up scrapping. I might have to break them apart. Um, it, could be, it, it could be a wild, wild night. You might have a point there. My menu is a reflection of me, wild. First up, the main, a taste of the wild. She's wild, never mind the food. Maybe like wild rabbit or badger. Badger? Tigers, elephants, wogs, wog horts. What are they called? Pot hogs. Got there in the end. Here, we've got zebra steaks, kangaroo, Bison. Blimey! And there's more! She marinates a alpaca, ostrich. Crikey, how many people are you expecting for dinner? I don't want people to go home hungry. Well, there's no danger of that! Finally, Nassai fries her mountain of meat and will reheat it later tonight. I know that it's going to be cooked through, so hopefully no one's going to complain and say, oh, mine is too well done, I want it rare. It's not about having rare wild food. Well, fingers crossed it's not too tough. The layout on the plate will replicate the Lion King. Crikey, that's ambitious. The scene where the little baby Lion King Simba is being held on the top of the rocks. That's enough to give children nightmares. She browns lamb shanks and makes a rich marmalade sauce. Is a nice sweet zest to it. Then goes stout and then brandy. A taste of the wild. So what's that going to be? Maybe just Nassai when she's really, really cross. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Next, her starter, Deep Sea Desire. Deep Sea Desire. What the heck's that? Nazai starts by marinating octopus in sage and garlic. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say some kind of seafood. Well deduced, Watson. Finally, she mixes hake with a vegetable soup base. I want them to be able to eat it and feel kind of full from it. Well, it's looking like a belly filler. Lovely. She'll reheat when her guests arrive. Last up, dessert, flower berry jelly. I liked jelly when I was five. I'm nearly 50. To an elderflower infusion, Nassai adds sugar and Prosecco. Elderflower is a wildflower, so it's all to do with outside and wild. Not necessarily a huge fan of jelly, to be honest. I think it's a bit of a cop-out in desserts. Then she mixes in gelatin. Gelatin's made it look like we. I don't want to serve people we in a glass. Who does? <laughs> To finish, she knocks up a strawberry reduction flavoured with lychee. Now that all my wild things are cooked in the kitchen, it's time to make me more wild and beautiful. Wow, man. Welcome to the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. First to arrive, and not her new BFF, it's Yvonne. Hello, welcome to my jungle. Oh, my goodness. And have a drink. It's a bit of a jungle juice. Come on, Yvonne. <laughs> Next to arrive, it's Bill. Well, hello. I had a feeling that knock was you. Come on. Well, it was a one in two chance. Suck, suck, suck. <laughs> Go on, suck, suck. Do as you're told, Bill. There we go, you got it. Is that in there? There is rum in there. What else? Yeah. Germaline, I think. <laughs> and last in, it's Mr. Charm himself, Olu. Wait for it. Oh, you're looking pretty nice. Right? Yeah, so Boom! We were greeted with a pineapple slushy. It was hard to get down. 